Love is in the air and the aisles at Whole Foods Market. Head in now for the love affair and make it a memorable Valentine's Day with great deals on finds like Animal Welfare Certified New York Strip Steaks and sweets from the bakery. Set the mood with fresh, beautiful flowers from Whole Foods Market, where Prime members can pick up a double dozen bunch of roses for just $24.99 from February 8th through the 14th. Shop in-store or online. Terms apply. Fall in love at Whole Foods Market. Sometimes people wait until something bad happens to talk to a therapist. Why wait? You can get a therapist through Talkspace. Therapy can help you shift your perspective, find tools to cope in difficult times, and be a guiding light. At Talkspace.com, you can sign up online and get a personalized match with a provider that's right for you, typically within 48 hours. Talkspace can help with any specific challenges you might be facing. It's the number one online therapy platform with licensed therapists in over 40 specialties, including anxiety, depression, substance abuse, relationship issues, and much more. Plus, Talkspace is secure and private, using the latest end-to-end bank-grade encryption technology to store client information and complying with the latest HIPAA regulations. As a listener of this podcast, you'll get $100 off of your first month with Talkspace when you go to Talkspace.com and use code OPTIMAL. To match with a licensed therapist today, go to Talkspace.com and use code OPTIMAL to get $100 off of your first month and show your support for the show. That's OPTIMAL at Talkspace.com. This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 2034. Four tips for getting back into exercise after a long break. and. Sweet Potato versus White Potato, Which Potato is Healthiest? Both by Jessica Spenlove of jessicaspenlove.com. And I'm Dr. Neil, your host and narrator. Welcome to another Wednesday edition of Optimal Health Daily. Remember, this is just one of a bunch of podcasts where we read to you from blogs for free so that you don't have to read them yourself, except on Fridays. That's where I usually answer your questions. Now, today is Wednesday, and like I do every Wednesday, I like to share a little bit of inspiration with you. And today's bit of inspiration comes from author Daniel Pink and his book, Drive, The Surprising Truth About What Motivates Us. In the book, Daniel Pink encourages us to do the following. Quote, each night, ask yourself, was I better today than I was yesterday? All right, before we get to the posts, just as a reminder, I have two posts today instead of the usual one. And I do this when each of the articles is on the shorter side. So let's get right to both posts and start optimizing your life. Four tips for getting back into exercise after a long break by Jessica Spenlove of jessicaspenlove.com. After being struck down with a nasty viral infection these last few months, I finally have some answers about what the ongoing issue was, airway and respiratory inflammation. Importantly, I also now have a treatment plan, which means I can slowly work my way back into my usual fitness routine, which will take me many months. So, if you've had a big break like me due to illness, life, or just because, before you get back into exercise after a long break, there are a few areas you need to focus on to ensure you're getting the most from your sessions and regaining your fitness as soon as possible and injury-free. 1. Sleep Sleep is one area of health that many don't prioritize, but this is where the magic of rest and regeneration happens. Good sleep is about quality and quantity. So, aiming to get seven to eight hours of solid shut-eye is critical to living and performing at your best. Aside from the obvious feelings of fatigue, a lack of sleep is also linked to poor health outcomes, including a higher risk of hypertension, cardiovascular disease, weight-related issues, and type 2 diabetes as well as reduced focus, productivity losses, and reduced athletic performance. Getting the right quantity and quality of sleep is essential to help restore energy, assist in muscle recovery and repair, as well as increasing your gains during a session. If you think you may need more sleep, start by going to bed 30 minutes earlier and see if this makes a difference in your output and recovery. If quantity isn't the issue, assess your screen usage and blue light exposure before bed. Try reading a book or listening to a meditation instead of scrolling. Two, nutrition. 
Making sure that you're properly fueling your body pre and post workout is important for increased performance and quicker recovery. Pre workout meals provide sustained energy through the session, which helps to improve performance. Consume a carbohydrate rich source such as a slice of toast or a piece of fruit 30 to 60 minutes pre workout. And post workout meals assist with recovery, replenish energy stores, promote muscle growth and repair, and help to rehydrate. Include protein and carbohydrates in this meal, such as whole grain toast with eggs or a high protein banana smoothie. Try to consume this within 30 to 60 minutes post session. Three, recovery. We get it, you've missed the gym. You might be inclined to spend as much time as possible at the squat rack and press pause on rest when returning to exercise after a long break. However, your body will not be used to your pre-isolation regimen, so it's important to slowly increase your training load and take recovery days. This is especially important if you're feeling delayed onset muscle soreness or DOMS more frequently. Listen to your body and take rest days as needed. Your body always knows best. And four, patience. It may be frustrating that you can't lift as heavy or run as fast as you did before, but it's important to remember that you will get back there. Take it slowly and be patient as lifting too heavy or going too hard may lead to injury or burnout. Using the strategies discussed today, you will be back to hitting those personal bests before you know it. Sweet potato versus white potato. Which Potato is Healthiest? by Jessica Spenlove of jessicaspenlove.com. Sweet potato has earned a reputation as the healthier spud, but is that praise deserved? Here, we look at the nutrition content of both sweet potatoes and white potatoes to determine which potato is healthiest. Sweet potato. Sweet potatoes are a wonderful, whole food, fat-free, concentrated source of complex carbohydrates. They contain a different set of nutrients when compared to the white potato, including almost double the amount of dietary fiber, both soluble and insoluble, about 3.1 grams per 100 grams, and plenty of vitamin C, about 30 milligrams of vitamin C per 100 grams. Sweet potatoes also contain healthy levels of vitamin E, about 0.81 milligrams per 100 grams. Vitamin E is important because it's an antioxidant that fights free radicals and helps with our immune system. Sweet potatoes also contain provitamin A, contains about 1,239 micrograms per 100 grams. Provitamin A is a dietary precursor of retinol, which promotes normal vision, maintains the health of our tissue and skin, and supports cell reproduction and growth, as well as acting as an antioxidant. Sweet potatoes also contain healthy amounts of potassium, zinc, calcium, and phosphorus. They also do contain small amounts of iron and magnesium, but sweet potatoes do contain four times the sugar content when compared to a white potato. White potato. Well, you may be surprised to hear that the humble potato is equally as nutritious as its hip cousin, the sweet potato, and deserves a prominent position in healthy food guides. This humble, whole food, fat-free white potato is a concentrated source of complex carbohydrates too and is sometimes served as a comfort food because it delivers that satisfying feeling of fullness. White potatoes also contain healthy amounts of dietary fiber, about 1.7 grams of dietary fiber per 100 grams. About 0.6 grams per 100 grams of that dietary fiber comes from resistant starch, which helps aid digestion and gut health. White potatoes also contain significant levels of potassium, about 576 milligrams per 100 grams. Potassium is important for maintaining fluid balance, muscle contractions, and blood pressure. White potatoes also contain phosphorus, which is important for the health of bones, teeth, and energy metabolism. White potatoes also contain vitamin C, which is important for cell renewal, skin health, and immunity. They also contain small amounts of magnesium, iron, zinc, vitamins B1, B2, B3, folate, and calcium. Now, both types of potatoes deliver similar amounts of calories, about 360 calories per 100 grams of each, and contain about the same number of carbohydrates, about 17 grams of carbohydrates per 100 grams of each. The average size potato has the same calories as basically two slices of bread. It's the toppings like butter, sour cream, and mayonnaise that add to the excess calorie intakes. 
So instead of adding bacon, cheese, sour cream, or butter to your potatoes, why not try a healthier alternative such as Greek yogurt, cottage cheese with steamed veggies, corn salsa, or even baked beans? So which potato is the healthiest? Each potato delivers a different set of equally important vitamins, minerals, and beneficial fiber, which together contribute to digestive health and overall wellness. So in the sweet potato versus white potato debate, there are no winners. Either option is a nutritious addition to your plate. You just listened to the post titled, Four Tips for Getting Back into Exercise After a Long Break, and Sweet Potato versus White Potato, Which Potato is Healthiest? Both by Jessica Spenlove of jessicaspenlove.com. Love is in the air and the aisles at Whole Foods Market. Head in now for the love affair and make it a memorable Valentine's Day with great deals on finds like Animal Welfare Certified New York Strip Steaks and Sweets from the Bakery. Set the mood with fresh, beautiful flowers from Whole Foods Market, where Prime members can pick up a double dozen bunch of roses for just $24.99 from February 8th through the 14th. Shop in-store or online. Terms apply. Fall in love at Whole Foods Market. Think about someone who has changed your life for the better. How incredible would it be if your company could find more of those life-changing people right when you needed them? If you're hiring, you need Indeed. Indeed is the hiring platform helping over 3 million businesses worldwide to do it all. Don't spend hours on multiple job sites looking for candidates. Over 80% of Indeed employers find quality candidates the moment they sponsor a job. I especially love Indeed's Instant Match feature because candidates you invite to apply through Instant Match are three times more likely to apply to your job than candidates who only see it in search, according to US Indeed data. Indeed knows that finding people with the right skills makes all the difference when you're hiring a team of one. Visit indeed.com slash health to start hiring now. Just go to indeed.com slash health, indeed.com slash health. Terms and conditions apply. Cost per application pricing not available for everyone. Need to hire? You need Indeed. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. I'm so glad that today's author, Jessica, talked about the health benefits of the so-called white potato. White potatoes have been getting such a bad rap for such a long time, it's so refreshing to hear a different perspective. Now, I should also mention that a lot of the nutrients found in white potatoes are found in the skin. So, if you can eat the skin along with the meat of the potatoes, you're gonna add to your nutrient intakes. All right, that'll do it for today. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for being a subscriber of the show. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you back here tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.